Mukbang Fridays. Fridays. I'm Natasha. And I'm Choi. And today we have Dexter. He is the co-founder of Soul Superior. And we are having Arnold's Fried Chicken today. Yes! yes. Alright, from Arnold's, we have their signature fried chicken, steamed buns, fries, and a potato platter. And then we have the coleslaw, mm. mashed potatoes. Yep. Super of today. Yes! They also give us some cheese dip. Mm. Oh, that looks really good. We eat like uh, 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 hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting okay. for this moment. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, it's so juicy inside. Oh my god. It's so tender. So let's talk about so superior. What is so superior exactly? It is basically a place where people who like street culture can come together and not be so ashamed of themselves. Because sometimes it's weird wearing nice clothes and when people look at your shoes, they'll be like, this guy is just showing off. Um. But at these kind of shows, you actually get a chance to talk to people mm -hmm. and it's fine. You see? How do y'all come up with this idea? It all started when I met John. Uh, we struck up quite a quick friendship. Then the topic of having a sneaker event always popped up. But Singapore had very few. Why not we put in our own money and start our own? Brands, shops actually came on board to support mm -hmm. us. And with that, five years ago, Soul Superior was born. The last year's edition, we attracted nearly 5,000 people. This potato platter is like a site that you can order. They have potato chip, wedges, Crinkle yeah. cut fries. Yeah, yeah, crinkle cut fries. Waffle fries, sorry. Everything goes well. It's with really cheese. good. Mm -hmm. yeah, look at it, it's so thick and creamy. I'll be showing you several pictures of shoes, right? And then we're gonna decide are we gonna cut or drop? We have the Balenciaga yeah. Triple S. One, two, three, cut. Drop. drop. Yeah. You said drop? Why? Drop. One pair is about $1,000. Oh, yeah. It looks like the, the NS Army track shoe. <laughs> uh, I think this is one of the few shoes that I would say it's ugly, but. Beautiful at the same time. Oh. Next no. we have ah. the Balenciaga Crocs. One, two, three, drop. Drop! <laughs> this one, if I say cop, right, I think a lot of people are super surprised. <laughs> it literally looks like a uh, trio's Crocs. So this is the Louis Vuitton mm. Arch Light. Drop. I cop. I cop. I might cop. I feel like it has a personality. Yeah, it's, a, it's difficult when you step on the wires. <laughs> There's a little groove for it. So perfect for those who work in the media industry. Oh, so Vetmons. this is the Vetmons Reebok Instapalm Furry Emoji Stickers. Oh my god, the name's so long. Uh, drop. 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 Is it oil? Another ironic fashion kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Yeah. That, this, this is like a common trend. It's ugly to a point where like... You must have it. Yeah. Gucci logo, right, leather, Gucci leather, logo leather sneaker. One, two, three. Drop. Drop. I will call. I Why? like logos. If you want to spend a thousand dollars shoe on, everyone knows a thousand dollars shoe. We haven't eaten our coleslaw mm. soup or mashed potato. Hey, it's actually not too bad. I mm. like it. The, all the vegetables are finely chopped. Chicken soup. Look at it wobbling. Oh my god, yes, I'm very excited. Oh, what makes brands like Supreme, Off-White, Vetmans and all this? Do we like almost like a cult status? When people want it, bad enough mm. and there's so little quantity of it to go around mm -hmm. naturally it will go into cop status supreme was a very old skate brand so mm -hmm. it was really something small that no one really cared about mm. until it slowly becomes so exclusive you know like only 10 people can wear it and uh, when they worked with louis vuitton it marked the point of time where high fashion and street culture merged, yeah. merged. Mm. while it's what's supposed to be exclusive in the past mm. now it comes into the yeah. Common space of everybody. Mm. Yeah. So exactly. IKEA with DHL, yeah. and people eat into it. Because mm. why? Ironic fashion is the best fashion around. Ironic fashion, right? Is a very good way of us showing that mm. individuality and like bonus of ours. Do you feel that people are jumping on trends too fast and just for the sake of jumping on trends? Everything in the world is run by trends. Mm -hmm. I mean, like Singaporeans buy condominiums because everyone is buying a condominium. It takes a very special eye for people to predict trends. Mm. So usually most of us just jump on it because we want to be part current and mm. part of it. Mm. But think about it, you are joining a group of people and just enjoying the now. Mm -hmm. Why not? And mm -hmm. if everybody jumps on this trend, how individual are you? How you wear it. You have people like buying obscure brands now, mm -hmm. trying to be unique. And it's quite cool in a trend-centric uh, mm. community. It's really how how uniquely you can dress it. Mm. But uh, the thing is that also where do we base our inspirations from? Online, where everyone also reads. One of the most ridiculous trends was the Supreme Brick. It's just any into. other brick Why, uh? <laughs> lying at the start mm -hmm. of the road, and someone just mm -hmm. printed Supreme. What do you think are some other like stupid trends that we've heard of? Supreme usually comes up with the more weirdest, the weirdest stuff lah. Weirdest thing that Supreme ever produced: mm. a shovel. <laughs> I'm pretty sure right, at the end of this, like, Supreme is going to put all this together and it's like uh, a construction line, you know. Mm -hmm. And it just shows uh, when, when it's well known enough, 
you will sell. Oh yeah, I'm gonna eat some of this mashed potato. Mm, yes. Mmm. This is not bad. I like the mm. mashed potato sauce. Do you want some? You can have your own mashed potato. It's the the peppery brown sauce. I never yeah. know how to describe this sauce. I feel like the sauce is a lot more peppery than like others outside though. Do you mm. think it's easier or harder to get fakes nowadays? Mm, easier. Way easier now. And I must admit that fakes are getting better as well. Fake or great already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great already, yeah. That's why fake was just fake. Have you owned any fakes before? Mm, when I was younger, yes, sneakers. Mm -hmm. I bought uh, without knowing what I thought was a relatively acceptable market price. Mm -hmm. And when it opened up, I was like, okay, it looks real to me. Mm -hmm. Until people call me out and just say, oh, good, oh. Well, it's fake. Is there a guaranteed way to tell fake shoes on the real shoe? Yeah. No. Usually you look at the size tag, the people who counterfeit shoes can't get it exactly correct. Oh. And the manufacturing dates, the serial number, mm. it's all readily available online. Mm. So what is the deal with like, high, like expensive sneakers oh. and shoes? Oh. You know, mm. yeah, you spend so much on it, mm -hmm. yet you're gonna like step on it all over like mm -hmm. the dirty grounds. And then like some people, right, they go to the extent of like tying plastic bag over their shoes. Oh, I am one bag. of those people. <laughs> I bought really expensive shoes, and they do nothing but sit in a box at home. Why? Some are so rare that there's only like. Shelf pairs in the world. You know, it's just something nice to mm. look at. It's like collecting art. Have you ever seen someone wear fake shoes to a Soul Superior event? Yes. So every year we have uh, various people from various walks of life come to Soul Superior. Mm. Some of them are actually contributors for magazines. Mm -hmm. So some of them, one of the, the things is that they take pictures and sometimes like people are very eager eyed. They mm. look at the picture, hey, the guy behind. Hey, behind that other guy yeah. wearing fake. And they'll point oh. it out or not on Facebook groups, they share it. Mm. Then I'll be like, hey dude, uh, the guy wears so what? I mean, not a big deal. Maybe he didn't, know, so it's just uh You just think they're getting a good deal. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. I even have fakes being sold at the event before. Oh mm. my! Mm. You're going there to buy, the risk is on you. Oh. I cannot personally check through the okay. thousands, thousand two hundred pairs of mm. shoes there. Mm. They will probably think that the event organizer will be the one who would mm -hmm. be responsible. But then again, like I mean, if it's your own money, it's really your own responsibility mm. to do that double yep. check. You cannot take things for granted as well, right? That's true. But why do you think there's such a bad like connotation behind um like fix, fix right? or like knockoffs? Like symbolizes someone trying to some, be somebody they're not. Mm. That's why people are upset sometimes because they spend the money on a thousand dollar pair of shoes mm. whereas the same guy is getting the same attention as him Oh, at a much cheaper, low, cheaper price. price. Mm. Which is like a whole ego thing, I guess. Mm -hmm. What is Soul Superior going to do next? Or what can we expect from the future? For this year, what y'all can expect, I think it's the first time I'm going to actually release information to all of y'all. We are partnering up with an Australian sneaker show Whoa. next month to do their first debut here in Singapore. Wow. We are going to do um, our main show somewhere in third quarter of the year. Mm -hmm. But we may be participating in a street festival at the end of the year. Whoa. So this year will be a first time for a long time that Soul Superior actually mm. takes, do, does more than one event mm -hmm. a year. You heard it here first. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so we talked about what the street culture is like in Singapore. Can you really spot fake shoes? And today's food is all from Arnold's. And a huge thank you to Dexter for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. Remember to let us know who else you want us to talk to. And always remember, like, share and subscribe. See you next time. Bye! Bye.